Earth tide, also known as solid earth tide, crustal tide, body tide, bodily tide or land tide is the displacement of the solid Earth's surface caused by the gravity of the Moon and Sun. Its main component has meter-level amplitude at periods of about 12 hours and longer. The largest body tide constituents are semi-diurnal, but there are also significant diurnal, semi-annual, and fortnightly contributions. Though the gravitational forcing causing earth tides and ocean tides is the same, the responses are quite different. Topic: <inaudible> Tide raising force. The larger of the periodic gravitational forces is from the moon, but that of the sun is also important. The images here show lunar tidal force when the Moon appears directly over 30 degrees north or 30 degrees south. This pattern remains fixed with the red area directed toward or directly away from the Moon. Red indicates upward pull, blue downward. If, for example the Moon is directly over 90 degrees west or 90 degrees east, the red areas are centered on the western northern hemisphere, on upper right. Red up, blue down. If for example the Moon is directly over 90 degrees west 90 degrees east, the center of the red area is 30 degrees north, 90 degrees west and 30 degrees south, 90 degrees east, and the center of the bluish band follows the great circle equidistant from those points. At 30 degrees latitude a strong peak occurs once per lunar day, giving a significant diurnal force at that latitude. Along the equator two equally sized peaks and depressions are equally sized, giving semi-diurnal force there. Topic. Body tide The Earth tide encompasses the entire body of the Earth and is unhindered by the thin crust and land masses of the surface, on scales that make the rigidity of rock irrelevant. Ocean tides are a consequence of the resonance of the same driving forces with water movement periods in ocean basins accumulated over many days, so that their amplitude and timing are quite different and vary over short distances of just a few hundred km. The oscillation periods of the Earth as a whole are not near the astronomical periods, so its flexing is due to the forces of the moment. The tide components with a period near 12 hours have a lunar amplitude earth bulge depression distances that are a little more than twice the height of the solar amplitudes, as tabulated below. At new and full moon, the sun and the moon are aligned, and the lunar and the solar tidal maxima and minima bulges and depressions add together for the greatest tidal range at particular latitudes. At first and third quarter phases of the Moon, lunar and solar tides are perpendicular, and the tidal range is at a minimum. The semi-diurnal tides go through one full cycle a high and low tide about once every 12 hours and one full cycle of maximum height a spring and neap tide about once every 14 days. The development of a systematic theory of earth tides was started by George H. Darwin in 1879, and was then furthered by numerous authors, most notably by William Kala in 1964. The semi-diurnal tide, one maximum every 12 or so hours, is primarily lunar, only S2 is purely solar, and gives rise to sectorial deformations which rise and fall at the same time along the same longitude. Sectorial variations of vertical and east-west West displacements are maximum at the equator and vanish at the poles. There are two cycles along each latitude, the bulges opposite one another, and the depressions similarly opposed. The diurnal tide is lunisolar, and gives rise to tesseral deformations. The vertical and east-west movement is maximum at 45 degrees latitude and is zero on the equator and at the poles. Tesseral variation have one cycle per latitude, one bulge and one depression, the bulges are opposed antipodal, that is to say the western part of the northern hemisphere and the eastern part of the southern hemisphere, for example, and similarly the depressions are opposed, the eastern part of the northern hemisphere and the western part of the southern hemisphere, in this case. 
Finally, fortnightly and semi-annual tides have zonal deformations constant along a circle of latitude, as the Moon or Sun gravitation is directed alternately away from the northern and southern hemispheres due to tilt. There is zero vertical displacement at 35 degrees 16 latitude. Since these displacements affect the vertical direction east-west and north-south variations are often tabulated in milliarcseconds for astronomical use. The vertical displacement is frequent tabulated in mu gal, since the gradient of gravity is location dependent so that the distance conversion is only approximately 3 mu gallon per centimeter. Topic: Other earth tide contributors. In coastal areas because the ocean tide is quite out of step with the earth tide, at high ocean tide there is an excess or at low tide a deficit of water about what would be the gravitational equilibrium level and the adjacent ground falls or rises in response to the resulting differences in weight. Displacements caused by ocean tidal loading can exceed the displacements due to the earth body tide. Sensitive instruments far inland often have to make similar corrections. Atmospheric loading and storm events may also be measurable, though the masses in movement are less weighty. <laughs> Tidal constituents Principal tide constituents. The amplitudes may vary from those listed within several percent. Topic. Effects Volcanologists use the regular, predictable earth tide movements to calibrate and test sensitive volcano deformation monitoring instruments. The tides may also trigger volcanic events. Seismologists have determined that microseismic events are correlated to tidal variations in Central Asia north of the Himalayas. The semidiurnal amplitude of terrestrial tides can reach about 55 cm 22 in at the equator which is important in GPS, VLBI, and SLR measurements. Also to make precise astronomical angular measurements requires knowledge of the Earth's rate of rotation length of day, precession, and nutation, which is influenced by Earth tides so-called pole tide. Terrestrial tides also need to be taken in account in the case of some particle physics experiments. For instance, at the CERN or SLAC, the very large particle accelerators were designed while taking terrestrial tides into account for proper operation. Among the effects that need to be taken into account are circumference deformation for circular accelerators and particle beam energy. Body tides in planets and moons, as well as in binary stars and binary asteroids, play a key role in long-term dynamics of planetary systems. For example, it is due to body tides in the moon that it is captured into the 1 to 1 spin orbit resonance and is always showing us one side. Owing to the body tides in it, Mercury is trapped in the 3 to 2 spin orbit resonance with the Sun. For the same reason, it is believed that many of the exoplanets are captured in higher spin-orbit resonances with their host stars. <laughs> 